world of you two to try and protect my sight. Everything else. I guess I found something interesting to talk about Chris Waltz. Tonight, here, here. Fuck Chair Detective Live. Well, not live yet, but I will be. <laughs> My dear Watson. It's about what they're going to do with the bloody bastard of Fuck Chair Detective. Straight from Fatland Yard. Yeah, I'm sure Mr. Fatland, Detective from Fatland Yard. <laughs> Fatland, that's right, Fatland Detective from Fatland Yard. I'm sure he's eating up this comment. Of course, we have here NK bears some responsibility for her actions as well. This was no ordinary affair. She was no ordinary mistress. She deliberately took a deep dive into another family's life and used extreme manipulative tactics to both estrange Chris from the arrange him towards his wife knowing full well there was an <clears throat> already existing tension between them. I think she was successful in a de uh, Durvin, whatever, in, in Durvin, what the hell, in Durvin, in Durvor, whatever that is. Never use that word because Chris enjoyed this sick dynamic to the hilt. Jesus. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, I've never used them words before in my life. Pardon me for my bloody actions of not properly saying a word. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, I was going through Reddit. Some stuff came up. Uh, one of them was, I didn't save it, but uh, what did it say? Oh, how smart Chris Watts was. Someone had that in a Reddit post, and then another post come up, then another one. And uh, this one I found very interesting. Because in this one, someone claims that he left something under his daughter's bed. And I'll show you that in a minute. But, uh... For someone to ask <laughs> how intelligent Chris Watts was, I think they're about the same level as him. Because if this man was smart, he would have not got caught. Dumbo. All right? <laughs> you can be or try to be a cold blooded killer, you could try and wipe out something that exists in your life and, um, you know, think nothing of it, but when it all nails down to and when it's all said and done and you realize what you've done. If you ain't got that true killer instinct, uh, you're definitely gonna fold and crumble. And that's exactly what happened to him. <clears throat> so, with that being said, I'm saying that with experience. Because, uh, I can honestly say that <laughs> I have been put in that predicament, but mind you, self-defense. <clears throat> I'm not wanting to go out and try and go kill my family, kill my kids, kill my wife because, oh, I want another life. I'm a stupid idiot. I made all these babies and, and married a woman and now I just want to move on because I've had enough of it. <laughs> No, but 
people know me and I have said it before, especially my video of the bad part of my life or my bad part of past has caught up with me. <clears throat> you know, I can honestly say that that killer instinct resides in my mind and in my body. But I don't like to brag about it. <clears throat> but I do know what it is like to have someone in the depths of your grasp and how much you, you know, could say hate someone. But I wasn't sitting my life in jail, so I did the next best thing and just opened up a can of whoop ass. But honestly, I can tell you if I did, but I wasn't doing it to, you know, hide and be a serial killer. I was doing it for my respect and um, the disrespect, you know, and this person was a straight up woman beater, you know. But I could say if it came down that I was at the inch of losing my life, I would have no hesitation to turn around and make that person to the inch of their life. <clears throat> so, I mean, if you ain't got that in you, you're going to crumble, fold and keel over, and fall apart. And that's exactly what Chris Watts did. But enough talk of me and... You know, whatever. Say what you will. I got people out there saying I sound drunk. I don't know how I sound drunk when I'm just talking at a normal pace. Because if I want to talk fast, I could. But, of course, how does anybody understand something? And if I go off talking too fast and you want to listen to my story and then I go and tell you something that I'm talking too fast with and I go about my business of saying this, this, that, and that, and this, and he did this and went over there and did this and went over there to kill that and cut the throat of that. and went in the, what, what, what the hell are you going to get out of that mess? So yes, I like to take my time in my videos just to let people know. I know I've been getting comments saying, are you drunk? You're a drunk. You're an idiot. <laughs> Whatever. The only true idiot here is Mr. Watts and the people that believe, you know, someone like Fatland Detective, Fatland Yard, Armchair, Fat Chair Detective, that's right. Mr. Fat Chair from Fatland in the homeland of Fatland of Fatland Yard. Cause you know damn well he's full of fucking shit. <laughs> so let's move on of the jokes. So someone writes this. Oops. Chris Watts looked up the element. Um, bear with me on this. I hope I don't murder this word. I do like the D.O. part. <laughs> D.O. D.O. Taste. Taste. D.O. Taste. And I did look this up. <laughs> I'm aware of what it is, but the name of it is friggin' ridiculous. <clears throat> Just like Chris Watts. But here is what I found about the element. Oh, come on. The person says, I don't know if this was the crystal that was found under one of the girls' beds, but if so, it tells a story. You're damn right it tells a story. I looked up this stuff, and holy shit -ski. What is wrong with this man? And mind you, shit -ski to me is a Polish word that I made up for the Polans. shit <laughs> So you don't have to say the word swear. Oh, flat, 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 blink, blunt. You just say shit ski. <clears throat> Anyways, 
what in the F would this guy be doing with this under one of his girl's beds? Now this is something they say that is found out in the desert. It contains copper in it. Um, there's a whole thing on it. Intense emerald green to bluish green copper see, silicon acid material. <laughs> it is transparent to translucent. Its luster is various to sub adamantine. Formula is Cu6SI. We've got any chemicals of I wish I had Albert Einstein here. Also, report of Cu is Co. Sio, it has a hardness of five times the same as tooth enamels. S specific gravity is 3.28 to and it has two perfect and one very good cleavage directions. Cleavage in a friggin' crazy cropped up piece of stone type thing. Tooth. Bone. Damn it. Additionally, diopatis, diopis, taste, whatever, is very fragile and specimens must be handled with great care. It is a trigonal mineral forming six side crystals that are terminated by Romo Livlila. I sound like P.B. Herman. Blah, blah, blah. So here we have a thing here that's placed under the girl's bed. Which leads me to wonder if this is true, if, if, and someone claiming it, I can understand why this guy put this under his bed and what a sick SOB. If this is true, This is what it says about this item. Dust is toxic due to its... Oh, you jerk. You friggin' jerk. You jerk. That really just peed me off. Alright. I hope everything's back to normal. I hope this friggin' video don't play sideways. And it says, fra um, relatively common copper silicate minerals. Gemstones should never to be exposed to ultrasonic cleaning or the fragile gem will shatter. As a ground pigment, the optus can be used in painting. The optus dust is toxic, toxic due to its copper content and accidental indigestion can lead to serious health problems. Tell me this sick prick was gonna put this under his kids' beds and they're young ones too. They probably would look at this as like a friggin' play toy. And you know how kids are. I know one time I watched my friggin' kid that was uh I want to say four or five at the time, four years old. And unfortunately, because of the predicament we're in, <clears throat> I moved back into an old place I lived in. The whole porch was full of lead on the staircase. And here's my kid with his friggin' two teeth and mouth argh, stuck on the friggin' banister. And I'm walking downstairs, and he just came out of my mother's house at the time, going back upstairs, and he stops and decides to put his whole mouth ah, on a friggin' porch railing with lead on him. What are you doing, you friggin' kid? Ah! Fortunately, the dust was not <laughs> high. We had a lead test, and he never got lead. But to see that sight and to friggin' see him, oh, man, doing that was beyond friggin' words. So I gotta just imagine what Chris Watts was trying to do purposely 
and tossing this thing under his kid's bed, hoping that this health problem would come sooner, quicker than him having to fold him up and stuff him in a friggin' oil tank. Is that what this is telling me? Because if it is, man, boy, did this guy have some real serious intentions and needs to be bashed in his skull in prison. He is shunned, which is a damn good thing. Oh, he spent his 36th birthday in jail. Well, guess what? Happy birthday to you. You live in a zoo. You look like a monkey. And hopefully you get mauled by one, too. <laughs> yeah, you piece OS. Explanation point a thousand times. So with this being said, and um, just to think that this guy had this under his kid's bed. It's like, wow, what, what is he thinking? What was he doing? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. This could be just a false thing. This could be something that was made up. But just to think about it, he worked in an oil field rig. He had access to stuff like this, obviously. And if he knew and looked this up, he just looked up what I looked up and what this could do. Whether or not he was going to let his kids play with it or maybe even <laughs> maybe put it in spike something for Shanann to eat. Who knows? But when he thought about the... It must have came up that it probably would have took him longer to have ingested this or whatever the hell he was thinking to do with it. And that would have just been too long, so... How smart is Chris Watts? <laughs> to me, he's a real big J-A. No smarter than a donkey, a jackass. That's right. <clears throat> the only thing them things are good for is carrying people down the Grand Canyon or carrying your friggin' supplies, which that's all he could be good for in prison, carrying the... Uh, Big boss man supplies. <laughs> That's right. Don't drop that soap, boy. <laughs> Don't be in there looking like a pretty boy. I don't love you in there. <laughs> if I could put some money on a prisoner's books, there was only one thing you can think of what would happen if I could do that. Yo, brother, here's some money on your books. You know what to do. Jailhouse rules. <clears throat> but it, it's good that he's been shunned because I bet you this came up or something's come up that friggin', you know, they don't take kindly to friggin' kids. I've also led, read and learned too. Which I've said it all along, but I wasn't too sure. But you know, biker gangs don't take kindly to child molesters either. I mean, I knew about it, but I like to mention that. And I'm sure the ones that are in jail, boy, around this boy, hopefully there is, takes what they can and do what nature's justice needs to be done. Is anybody to take two small girls' lives, try and set them up like this, and then even kill the boy in the womb? I mean, this guy, man, I don't know what he was thinking, boy. And then he's going to talk about he's all catholic up now and gone straight to God. You know what, if God was smart, he would be taking a bolt of lightning and shocking this guy. Shoo, right through the friggin' concrete walls to the metal toilet that he uses. Zing! Because this is just sick, man, just sick. I can't believe to even read something like this. Hopefully, hopefully it's fake, but I don't know, folks. Things come up, things, people, and 
honestly, it, it's just sick that people just keep giving this guy publicity. Because all it's going to do is make him like a Scott Peterson trial. And, oh, wait a minute. He's going to get another trial because he's innocent. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm done talking about him. But I had to bring this up because if this is true, then that man was nothing but a pure bastard. POS, like I said, and don't deserve to live. Because that probably would have been one painful death. I hope them girls just, you know, hate to say it, died quick. Because if they would have in ingested this stuff or whatever the case would have been, oh man, them poor girls just even think about suffering right now. It's just like, wow, what the hell's really going on in this world? But until that next video, <laughs> be safe, take care, always beware. That's right, folks. A lot of them killers are still out there. We need to really start putting the hammer down on these people. Hammer down straight to the nail and eliminate them. That's my thoughts, theories, and idea. Out.